All right, guys, welcome to episode 95 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got Remy over here licking my foot, Aubrey in the back. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And listen, guys, if you're not subscribed, hold my sack and get the fuck out of here. Get out of we here. don't need no fake love, no fake nah, support, nah. none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, For the ones that. that really support, you know, you know what I mean? Welcome back. We're, we're back with another one. And uh, yeah, man, we're Liddy Tilly. Yeah, we're Liddy Yilly? Tilly. Yilly I don't know. Tilly. I'm I Titty. Don't I'm Titty know. and Liddy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going yeah, on right now. I'm just high as fuck, guys. So, like your blunt, like your J, pack your ball, pack your ball, and let's get on the same level, man. My we dog. fucking cooling. I can't even talk today, guys. Damn, my dog. I can't said even talk. Liddy Tilly. Liddy Tilly. Titty Liddy. Okay. Tilly's are beautiful, though. Tilly's are beautiful. That's a okay. Yeah, that I like the that's yellow a, that's ones. A flower. Yes, yes, they I are. Forgot what is I it Tilly? Was. Yes, it is a Tilly. Guys, know. we don't fucking know. We're just a tulip. A tulip. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a tulip. It's, it's a tulip. A tulip. It's a t- tulip, bro. Tulips are tulip. nice. Tulips are really oh, beautiful. Tulips are beautiful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Nah, but anyways, man. What the fuck happened in Africa, bro? Nah, listen, bro. It's actually something pretty fucking serious. I don't fucking know. Going into the first topic. Yeah, nah. Um, so, in Africa, there was an attack, right? There was an attack. Jesus Christ. On a village, man. And it's pretty bad. Oh, wow. Gun- gunmen killed at least 100 people and injured dozens in an overnight attack on a village in northern Burkina Faso. Uh, President Raj Kabori confirmed Saturday. During the night of June 4th to the 5th, armed individuals attacked the village My birthday. Sohan <laughs> in the com- in the commune of Siba in the Sahil region. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing all these names. Holy Kabori shit. said in a tweet, I bow to the memory of the hundred civilians killed in the barbaric attack and send my condolences to the families of the victims. So I'm not going to nothing that he can do. Nothing he could do about it except for have it on his conscience for the rest of his life. But it's pretty much all a political move over there. Yeah. You know, it's all a political move. But rest in peace of those those hundred individuals. That's that's a big change in history, bro. That's that, literally generations erased. Gone. Because the, the uh, you know, kid that I'm sure it, there was kids, there was women, there was children, you know what I'm saying? Like men that that hadn't had kids yet that were going to have kids. Like it, it, there's a lot, there's a lot of change that goes on in a, in a situation like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like history yeah. is literally changed. Like, yeah, that's, that's actually, that sounds horrible. It sounds like, it sounds like some like Viking shit. When you said barbaric or some shit, like it sounds like, like because people, it like, is barbaric. They got, they got fucking slaughtered, but that's been happening since back then, man. Yeah, it happened with swords. It happened with bows and arrows. Now, then it happened with muskets and shit. And now it's happening with machine guns and fucking AKs. So I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine being hit by a fucking arrow, bro. By that arrow. must fucking suck. Like it's not even the part of like getting hit. I think the worst part of it is when you try to take it out. No, 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 no. You need like a doctor for that. Yeah, you're like not it's pulling not, that shit out on your own. You're gonna have to like cut it, and then they're gonna have to like they don't know what it hit, and they're pulling <laughs> it out. Honestly, put, pulling it out is probably gonna do way more damage than it going in. Yeah, so I would just leave it in, and I would just Sucks. walk in the hospital and be like, "Hey, you know, I no, bro. <laughs> hey, I man, you might want to check this out, doc. <laughs> Yo, I got this shit in me. I don't know what I'm gonna supposed to do. I only got a certain amount of time, and just take it out of me. That's nah, it. Bro. Come on, doc. Yeah, for real. But yeah, no. Once again, rest in peace to those individuals. You know what I mean? And um it's sad, bro. It's really, really sad. Like I don't I don't know I don't know what else to say about it. Yeah, that's but, too um, sad. That's too sad for us. Yeah, so we're gonna change lanes, man. We're gonna change lanes and uh we're gonna give a big huge round of applause to Master P. Hey. Master P has Snack changed rap. he's changed the entire game and people you know, they give him his flowers, but I don't think they give it to him enough, man. They this don't. man literally came from the bottom, from the projects. You know what I'm saying? Had nothing. Him and his brother worked their ass off to get build what they got. They they built multi-generational wealth, and now they're they're teaching other people how to do it. They have their own clothing line. Yeah, He's an shoes. entrepreneur. He has shoes. He played in the NBA. Money Yachty. 
man, again, round of applause. He played in the NBA. Yeah, he played in the NBA. Rapper. You he know did what I'm it saying? All. He, he was a rapper. He was a label owner. He was he he has his own clothing. He has his own the chips. Uh, uh, chips. He has his own snacks. He has his own cereal and his own uh uh like uh, so much shit, bro. Yeah, so we can keep going for real, yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah, literally. Like we could keep going. So we just wanted to, you know, give that a round of applause because that's amazing. And that's something that other people, if they're willing to pick up knowledge and pick up game and learn, you could pick up a lot of game from Master P, man. I hope to I hope to meet him one day, man, because that's that's legendary, bro. Yeah, yeah, a, yeah. He is literally a living legend, bro. Living legend. Living yeah. legend. And people don't talk about that again. Yeah. And that's hard. That's yeah. hard to get to that level, to get to that status yeah. in your life. A living legend. Most people literally get... Their legend status after they die. Tupac got his legend status after he died. Biggie. So many people that, that, you know, you could go down the line. There's been a lot of people that weren't looked at like that until they died. Yeah. But, and he literally fucking, uh, I remember I watched like a little documentary with Snoop and Snoop was like, yeah, man, this guy fucking just like bought my house and shit. Like, yeah. He was like with my wife and he was like, hey, man, which house do you guys want? Like, like he literally put us on like. That's crazy. Listen, man. That's again, all. That's love. Round of applause. Round of applause to to Master P. And um, guys, you entrepreneurs out there, you know we we should take uh we should take heed from Master P and learn from him and and look at his blueprint. Apply what you can apply and discard the rest. But I feel like his blueprint could help a lot of people. You know, and he yeah. he gives it out freely. You can look up videos of him talking about it, and it's like it, it's commendable. Yeah, it's commendable. No limit. But listen, man, no limit. I'll show you no limit. This girl, yeah. I don't know where she's from, what she does. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what she did. It doesn't matter. I just know what but I saw. But I'll tell you what. Another round of applause because this girl right here, she fought off a bear. A bear. A big ass fucking bear, bro. Oh. And I saw the video and it was fucking ridiculous, man. It was fucking wild. She ran out into the fucking bear. She fucking pushed this motherfucker, bro. grabbed the dog. She squared up for a second, ran back, Facts. and was like, "What's up?" And the bear was like confused, nah, like wow. Bear didn't know what the fuck hit him. Bear, the bear had some bad bear news. Yo, that bitch. <laughs> this is saying I think I said it wrong, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck, bro. Nah, nah that was bro. Scary. That, that was it, crazy. Listen, man. When I saw that at first, I'm like, "Oh, this is gonna be bad." I was like, she's going to get mauled. Her dogs are going to run away. It's going to be bad. All bad. I she ran up like she knew that bear didn't want the fucking smoke. She knew it. Nah. She's like, bitch, I'll kill you. Nah. With my bear. Nah, hands, for real. Bitch. Was the bear girl? It looked like it was pretty big. So I'm pretty it was sure. A big Usually the girls are the bigger ones, right? I don't, I don't know, man. I it think was the females. Big, whether it was female, male. Female, female. That big <laughs> fucking bear. Didn't want the smoke. Nah, she didn't. After all, didn't want the smoke. So shout out to her, man. Because I don't know, bro. Like I told you earlier, I love my dog. Yeah. But that was a big bear. If I had to go fight a bear, bitch, I'm, I might just not. I'm, <laughs> nah, I'm to, be, to be honest, bro, if I see the bear attacking my dog, I'm going to have to shoot it. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fact, fact. Like I'm if gonna... I have a weapon available at the time, guys, we don't condone the shooting of bears. No. But if in, in a life or death situation. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. That bear's getting fucking shot right in between the motherfucking. I'll, I'll take use of it. I'll take use. I'll put his head on the fucking wall. You know. Yeah, what I mean? yeah. We'll, like, we'll make a carpet out of him and shit like that. Whatever, whatever we could do. Yeah, like fucking, you know, from SpongeBob. You know, when you I'll make it a off, robe. And then she put it on him. She put on Sandy. Remember that? <laughs> and then he fucking ripped it off. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking crazy. Yeah, wild man. Yeah, nah. You I know what? SpongeBob you know it's fucking wild though. Really wild. This fucking Florida dad, guys. This Florida dad, he's a real piece of shit. Number one. <laughs> Motherfucker went on a... I mean, it's Florida, so there's high-speed chases all the time. Yeah. But he went on a high-speed chase with his kid. An infant. Like, it was. he was an infant, <laughs> like a baby baby. Yo, this, he had no and choice. He, he was on babysitting he, duty, and he, he had no dipped, choice. Yeah, nah, he did. And when he got out the car at the end of the high-speed chase... He threw the baby at the cop. What the fuck? Yo, he, like did, a football. Um, he, he did the fucking Michael Jackson shit. Like, he fucking <laughs> hung the baby out the window. Don't make me do it! <laughs> and he fucking actually did it. He actually... It. Out the car? Or was it, like, when he got out the car? No, he, like, got out the car and threw it at the cop. 
threw the baby at the cop and then like try to run. Oh, okay, so he was like, "Yo, I don't want him." I'm I don't think that's what it was. I think this guy was just a piece of shit, and he thought that by him throwing the baby, the cops wouldn't chase him anymore or something. Yeah, right. Bitch, one cop is gonna catch that like a football, and the rest of them are gonna, gonna come get gonna you, and they're gonna beat you up. up. Yeah, they're gonna beat your ass, bro. I can't imagine the ass whooping that they gave you. No, they bro. probably didn't even punch you. In, they didn't probably punch you in the face, but they probably beat your ass. Your like, ribs are bruised. Yeah, like, if not cracked. Yeah, bro. that's a fact. You don't throw no baby, bro. At you don't throw. Point, I don't give a fuck, bro. You're not trying to help the baby by doing. Like, what if the cop didn't catch him? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you're not doing it for the better of the baby. You're doing it because you're a piece of shit, and you, you that's your last way out. That's fucking horrible. Think about that. That's just my opinion. Yeah, that's your last Y'all way out. Y'all go down in the comments and let us know how you feel about that situation, because yeah. I, that, no, I, I mean, whooped that guy's ass. I don't think anybody would disagree. If you do, you shouldn't be watching yeah, the you show. Should, you'd be a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, for You're real. a piece of shit. Yeah. But I'll tell you something that's scary, man. I'll oh, tell shit. you something that's Yo, scary. you showed me this video, bro. Yo, Loki showed me this fucking video Listen, and it was bro. fucking crazy, man. It for was wild. for the for for the conspiracy theorists out there that you know you guys know about Anonymous, you know that Anonymous has been around for a while and they speak truth. And um they they came after Elon Musk, man, and they made a lot of sense about where his money came from, about a lot of things. Yeah. You know, about like how his company he didn't he's not really the mastermind behind it and all this other stuff like yeah he bought the company off to uh two other men and shit like that yeah like yeah. It, there's a lot that they that they talk about but pretty much it's like if i was elon musk bro i i that's a that's a viable threat like that's a threat that's actually a no, threat that's a threat that i would feel real nervous about because yeah. we don't know who it is it could be literally somebody sitting next to you it could it be could your be, boy it could, it could be your be, boy yeah, yeah like at that point y'all all billionaires and trillionaires nigga there's that's a different level of fucking and then like you're talking about like people that hack certain like major major things so like bro your stuff is packable bro like everything I'm, is hackable. you know what i mean so i'm pretty sure it depends, but I'm pretty sure that the anonymous can hack pretty much anything. You know what I mean? If they really wanted to, I'm pretty sure they they're connected to. They don't know who this main person is, but there has to be somebody that knows him. Think about it. Yeah, they can't just be no one that knows who he is. It must be somebody. It must be a strong team of people, of hackers. That just. I think that's what it is. I think it's a group of people. Yeah, and I think that they're on a mission and. They've been smart about it so far, you know? Yeah. Everything that goes up must come down eventually, but so yeah. far they've been smart about it. And I would take that as a real threat, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. I would, I'm telling you, man, if I was Elon, I would take that as a real threat. I wouldn't take it lightly. Like, you heard what he listen, said at the end. He said it's Legion. I forgot what else. Yeah. But he's like, something. It was like real creepy. He's like, it, he's like, it's Legion. Expect us. Expect us. Expect <laughs> us to fuck up your party. Expect us. Expect us like to if show something up bad expect- happens to you, Yo, it's bro. us. Bro. Expect us. Expect us. Just expect us, bitch. Yo, I'll expect, bro. I'll be waiting with hey, a fucking. You know what I'll expect? <laughs> I would be, bro. I swear. If, bro, if I was Elon, bro, I'll be like, okay. If I watch that video, I'll be like, Tato. we're going to war. Da. Oh. That's what that means. <laughs> that means we're going to war. No, no, war, war. Listen, bitch. We're going to fucking war. I need to know who the fuck, like, bro, with the mo- amount of money Elon got. Nah, bro. You better find something out. You better find something out real quick. Yeah, for <laughs> real. If you don't, then you better fucking go to Mars and be king of emperor like you said you want to be, bitch. Because there ain't going to be no emperor here, bro. I'll tell you that. You're going to be emperor fucking Emperor's Groove, bitch. You guys ever seen that movie? Emperor's Groove? With one about Oh, yeah. The Emperor's llama. Groove, bro. The llama, bro, became yeah. a fucking emperor, like a fucking dweeb. Yeah, fucking heard of. That was a... Bro, kids' movies were so different back then, bro. Yeah. They were so different. But yeah, moving on to the next topic, Elon... Watch out, bro. Watch, Watch out. out. But listen, <sighs> people that cry on camera. Yeah. You know what? Why the fuck? I don't feel sorry for you. Do you fucking feel the need to be crying about a situation that you really, you're crying about it and you pull out your phone, turn on your camera and point it at yourself. Of course, people are and gonna continue come for to you. cry. Yeah, people are gonna come for you regardless. Like if you have an issue and you're crying, I'm not comforting gonna... shit. But comfort yourself. No, no. All I right? wrote. I actually wrote her, man. 
This is somebody I saw today. And it just, this don't is cry what, yeah. Camera. And it's like, listen, keep your head up. But if you're crying on camera, that means you're going to be all right. She was like, yeah, I know you're right. And I was like, yeah. So why? Listen, bro, you know, it's, it's just, just attention, it's, guys. Yeah, it's it's just attention, attention. And ultimately, it's cool, bro. But don't cry wolf. Yeah. Because like, the day that you really need somebody there for you, bro, people are going to be looking at you like, bro, you're all right. And yeah. that day you really might not be. Yeah. That day you might really need somebody. Yeah. And then it'll be true. worse. It'll be it'll actually be a thing. You know what I'm saying? But like, don't do that st- that type of shit for attention, man. Number one, it ain't nobody's business. And number two, if we're gonna get to the nitty gritty of it and be completely fucking honest, nobody cares. No, but no one, yeah, no one really. Everybody cares. has their own sets of problems, bro, and that yeah. that that sounds fucked up to say, but it's just the truth. It's the truth, like you know yeah, like if like, somebody dies in your family, like no one else is gonna care as much as you do. You know what I mean? Like with certain situations, bro, like that's just what it is. Like people don't care about your problems, bro. They yeah, don't, they don't. They don't, bro. Bro, everybody like, has. They their only own care sets of so problems. much. They only care so much, bro. You know. Everybody has their own sets of problems, bro. It's you know, the truth. You could talk. You could talk to people about it, and and you know, there's friends that you talk to, and y'all vent to each other and stuff, and that type of stuff is healthy, you know. But of course, but yeah. Ultim- that's- ultimately, it's like they're gonna care. That, your yeah. family and your friends. I don't. I, like I got to the age where I don't consider people friends. Like you're either family or you're not. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like you, you you're family or you're just you're an acquaintance and we're cool. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. But. Nah, bro. Like you, you gotta. I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. Nah, like, I, I you, just you I, gotta you gotta be mindful that people really go through shit and people really really commit suicide every day. Yeah, you know, exactly. Over things. Yeah, and you playing on that to get people's attention. There's people that are gonna give you that because they've already lost somebody. Yeah, and they're to gonna, that exactly. And it's gonna trigger something, bro. And you shouldn't be tugging at people's emotional strings like that. Yeah. That's just my opinion. It's just if you're not all right, like really not all right, you're probably not gonna let people know. Think about it. The most depressed people are really quiet. They don't want yeah. you to know that they're depressed, bro. So when I see people like that, like, oh man, look at me, I'm crying, I need attention. Or people that say, yo, I'm gonna kill myself. People that really are gonna kill themselves, they don't tell people. They don't tell too many people. Yeah, they, they might, might tell they some might one give or two out people. Hints. Yeah. They might give out hints, drop hints and stuff like that. But nah, if like, you're really gonna do it, you're not gonna tell nobody, you're gonna go you're just gonna go through with it. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, guys, don't play don't don't cry wolf. Because the day you need somebody, you're not you might not have them there. For you, real, for real. For real. But listen, something that ain't gonna be there for a lot of people. Something that's not going to be there for a lot of people is that moolah, that bread, that chicken, that cheddar, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Money. Shmoney. You know what I'm saying? Money, shmoney. I put you in the money. Those of y'all that sold AMC. I'll tell you what. Y'all retarded. Y'all, y'all just wanted y'all. Listen, man, y'all, y'all, y'all slacking, paper, bro. You got y'all got fucking uh, Edward Scissor hands, man. That's what they call them. <laughs> you know what I have? I have diamond hands. We have diamond hands, so I see it. I Facts. see it. Look. My shit is going to fucking pop. Do you understand that? AMC is going to fucking blow the fuck up. I might get rich off this. I'm I, like, I just look, Facts, I, I'm going to say might, I'm, I'm going to say might because there's always a downfall and there's always an upfall. And you're taking a risk, right? But statistically, by all, like, by all the numbers that they're saying, like, it just makes sense. And yeah, numbers don't lie. Up. And numbers don't lie. And the thing is, it's like, it went, the craziest shit is, it went down and we're still up. Exactly. You know Because we got it early. You like know what he I mean? got it way earlier than I did, but like we're both still up. Yeah, like, like I haven't lost money. I've actually still made money. Yeah, it still- went back down a little bit, but once this shit shoots back up, bro, people are gonna be sick, man. Yeah, it's it's gonna be. It takes time, so people get nervous, you know. And I I actually went through that myself, and uh, I went through a personal experience where I could have made a lot more money, you know, and I didn't because I got scared and I had paper fucking. I had you know Edward scissors hands and I fucking flipped the fuck out and sold, you know. So. I've been holding on throughout the whole process. I'm a fucking real little, shout out to all the apes. Yeah, shout out Yo, to all the apes. Strand. Round of applause yeah. to the apes. You know what I'm saying? Diamond hands. And let's, uh, let's, let's hold get it to it. the moon, man. Let's, okay. get let's get it to the moon. Because that's going to be life changing, bro. I'm telling you, people think it's a game until it's not. Just like how people laugh Bitcoin out of the room when it was seven cents a share. And now it's 39,000. Yep. All right. Yeah. Y'all don't sleep, man. Don't sleep. Don't sleep on that. Ultimately, at the end of the day, bro, like 
there there's certain opportunities that only come once in a lifetime. And hedge you know funds saying? and hedge funds, bro. Hedge funds is is really not on our team, bro. They actually like they manipulate the market. So uh, mm-hmm. people like you and me and us, you know what I mean? Like all of us. We can't really succeed and win a lot of money, you know. And yeah, I really feel little, like little crumbs. Yeah, and I feel like you know that's that's messed up, man. I feel like everybody should have the opportunity if you really put the work and the information, like you really educate yourself on a stock. I think you deserve the fucking money, bro. You're part of Facts. you're part owner, just like everybody else. So, uh, yeah, fuck hedge funds, fuck you guys. We're coming fuck in hard, a hedge and fund. I hope I hope you know all you guys get liquidated, and I hope you guys fucking you know jump out of the fucking building on fire. So, round of applause to that. Fuck you, hedgies. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, I completely agree. They manipulate the market, and that's not fucking cool. You, everybody should have, like, there's already, you guys are already rich, man. Yeah. Give like, the little guy the opportunity, at least, to get a little fuck, bit of money. Man. Like, yeah, fuck. It's like a cult. Yeah, like, it, it's there's a there's a gate. Yeah. There's gatekeepers. Yeah. And you got to go through the gate, bro. And if they don't want you to go through the gate, you can't. Dead and ass. Th- straight up. But fuck them. Fuck them. That's what I said. We can't do shit about it, man. Straight up. But I'll tell you what we can do. We can. Tell you guys that we appreciate you for rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing, and coming back to rock with us with another episode. You know what I'm saying? Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch. Thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell a friend. Share. And if you don't, hold my sack. I might get get some from real quick. You know what I mean? Let's get it. Go ahead. All right. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to talk my shit. I'm going to smoke this shit. I remember all the times I didn't have anything to wear. I was smoking on this tree and I was up in the air. I was trying to make a... Nah, I'm just kidding. But anyways, hey, yo, hey man, that was a film. But We appreciate you. Peace.